Hi everyone, and welcome to Power Plays. I'm Harry, and today I'm going to be teaching you all about the emergency sponsor mechanic in the new Two Point Hospital DLC, Speedy Recovery, and it is a lot of fun, I'm not going to lie. Uh, it's a really cool mechanic, it just adds something different to the game, it's making you focus not just what's inside your hospital, what's outside the hospital, and it just gives you so much more control of how many patients are coming in, and yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun, uh, I think you guys are going to really, really enjoy it. So, first, what is it? What is this new mechanic? So basically, you get ambulances, as you can see here. Here are my three big healers. Um, you get ambulances, and you have to, using this lovely little hub, decide which emergencies are you going to go to uh, to pick up patients in time before they all expire. So you can see like this one's expired here, but I'll go through what each one means in a sec. And you've got to do it whilst competing against other hospitals to get there first. So, for example, we've got this bad hair day, 52 kilometers away. You get a nice little description as to what's happened. And you can assign any of your ambulances to get there. Now, we've got three different types. So, depending on you know the size, the, how far away, how quick you want to get there, is all going to depend on which ambulance you send and as you can see we've got a couple more you know it shows you what's a big um emergency what's you know yeah kind of medium sized one and you do get small ones as well also something to add ignore this battery every time you open it up it changes it confused me for so long and i just could not figure out what was happening but yeah do not worry about it so something to take into account with the vehicles is that you need special janitors for vehicle mechanics. That's going to change slightly how many janitors we have because uh, some of these um, ambulances, they just get need maintaining all the time, like after every trip. So you're going to need lots of vehicle mechanics uh, just to get up there. Now, in the first first level in A-Link, the very first level of this new DLC, we are given three vehicle types. At first, you only have one, but then you get the opportunity via research to unlock two others and upgrade them. So I'm just going to go through what the different types and what their, you know, what their strengths, what their weaknesses. So we start off with the compliant column. So the compliant column is kind of like your, your average mid-range vehicle. It can fit five people in there. It's got decent speed and it does, does need maintaining, but not as much as some of the others. What's the benefit of using the compliant column as well is that if you have a staff member in there that does have good diagnosis skills, you can get that diagnosis in before the patient even arrives at your hospital, or at least a significant amount. So if I say have a look at the compliant column, so you can see here I've got a level one, a level two, and a level three compliant column. Now you can see the speeds do not change. So the, the speeds do not change here. Now you might notice maybe a couple of seconds, but really, you know, there's, there's nothing yeah there's nothing that takes these apart in speeds what it is going to do though is it's going to improve the diagnosis percentage um, that you're getting in uh, so you know you can see here there you get moderate speed moderate durability low capacity moderate diagnosis classic design and you can see that these um don't really change as you can see they're they're exactly the same but you know, you, you, you're just improving it slightly each time, you know, so you're getting a bit more, um, a bit more speed, no more capacity, you're getting better diagnosis and you're getting better durability. And that's the, the kind of the benefit of the compliant column is that you can get a decent amount of diagnosis in right off the bat and it's fairly quick. So if you want to undercut people, you can get in there straight away. Now let me move on to the big healer. So the big healer here, um, it's actually nearly twice as quick as the uh, as the column, as the compliant column.
column. Yeah, that was twice as quick. But you can see it does take up two slots on your kind of car park. So you can see here, we're just getting the one slot. And then over here, you're getting the two slots. Now, um, what is the benefit of the big healer? So again, I'm just gonna go over here. You can see I've got one, two, three. You can see the speed is slowly, uh, slowly increasing. It's not massive, but you know, it is, it is definitely, uh, definitely helping out and you can see the difference 52 seconds versus 34 so it's, it's not quite you know half look, double as quick but it's it's fairly close um, these can hold three um, three patients at once so not ideal for your big um, for your big uh, emergencies like this I'd recommend using these if it's a level one um, not even a level two, as you can see, because you're doing a three, 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 three. You know, it's going it's to take a while. So I'd say that these are best for level one. Um, and if I just hover over, you can see moderate speed, moderate durability, low capacity, moderate diagnosis. Classic design again. And um, you know, as as I said, I'd be using these for level one emergencies. Um, the colon is probably going to be you know pitched around the level two and the level one and then let's have a look at the last design which is the pant o mobile and basically that's because it's a clown car uh, you can fit so many people in here but it does take a while it is quite slow so you can see here one minute 44 versus 52 seconds from the compliant column so that's pretty much double and look at that, it's 32 seconds compared to that. But the benefit is you can fit so many people in. So um, for the uh, Pantomobile, you start off with 10, you then move up to 16, and, oh, and you just get so many people on, on the last one. I think it's a plus six. Uh, I've never actually uh, been able to pick up as many as its capacity, because as you can see, like the emergencies on level one, you just don't you just don't need just don't need it um let me hover over it you can see moderate speed uh, not true uh, moderate durability uh, low capacity moderate diagnosis classic design uh, i mean i uh so you can see like these say exactly the same right and i just nah i i don't believe uh, what what these are saying um personally so the pantomobile it's got very very poor maintenance to be honest after one trip it's probably just going to go kaput uh, the big healer uh, it's got decent maintenance uh, and the colon uh, is probably like your your average so you say your healer can do more trips but s more trips quickly but can only pick a small amount of people up your pantomobile can takes its time it needs maintaining all the time but it can just pick up pretty much anyone uh, that you need and they're quite compliant column it's always going to be flat bang in the middle so let me give you an example if i send the pantomobile over here uh, you can see we've already got someone on the way um so you know it might be worth in this case just dispatching all your big healers um it's going to be quick and it's off you go and then over here like i'm just going to send the column um, it doesn't really matter I, you know there's not enough people for me to pick up to warrant the big space, but we'll we'll get going. So before I click play on that, you've also got your emergency response uh, league tables. So you can see you've got patients collected, cure rate, death rate, failure rate, and emergency reputation. Now a lot of these link in to your uh, your goals. So you can see for the third star, you've got to be first in emergency cure rate. Um, and in some of the others, you need to be first in patients collected uh, for, for the other stars. And you can see you're competing um, against other hospitals. So you can see we're the two point foundation. So, you know, we're, we're not doing great. And that's mainly because I've been ignoring the emergencies whilst preparing for this video, uh, just so you can see exactly how these like statistics change and, and how they move. Something finally to think about is if, if you really want to get first place in emergency cure or patients collected is just have a look at what the other hospitals are doing if they've sent a vehicle use your big healers get in there first starve them of their patient inflow 
just just get there before and then two more things I want to talk about so you need people to staff these vehicles so as you can see here um, what I've got is you, you need this driving skill on each one and then what I do is I pump them full of diagnostics so then they can diagnose the patient whilst they're in the vehicle and that really helps that means when they're getting out of the vehicle they don't have to go to as many diagnosis rooms and they can just hopefully you know be in and get straight to the treatment that they need so if i just drop some of these uh, i know it's saying invalid nav navigation but uh, let's just drop everyone we've got. Yes, we know you guys can work there. We know nurses can drive too. Uh, so, if I just click play on this, just let everything go. Uh, where am I? No to the surgery. And what you can do is you can watch. You can watch these. So, I, I wanted to pip this one there. You can see that this guy, though, uh, the bungee... Uh, Meditech, they're going to pit me to it. But you can see I'm getting here, getting these in. I've got stolen six away potentially from this. As you can see, they're getting four. My column is on the way. And these big healers, or whatever um, whatever you've sent, will just keep going back and forth, back and forth, until there's nothing left here. Now, a problem, or one of the best things about pipping, but the problem with people pip you to the to the emergency or the emergency ends before you get there is that the vehicle's still going to go there and then come back empty handed and that's not great. Let's see our Panther mobile. People have been collected already from Bungie Med and as you can see they're slightly going down so you can see one's died here. Low health, medium health and then green is obviously fine and then the stars are collected so you can see I've just picked up 15 patients in one there. So let's send some columns over here and I'm, I'm going to show you the downside to um, spending too much time on the screen and not um, taking into account what happens. Yeah, no sleeping in war beds. So what's going to happen is the ambulance is going to go out um, and they're going to they're come back in and they're going to go in there in the relevant kind of areas and as you can see here we're all getting out of this clown car how they will fit in there i don't know but they're all getting out all getting out out they go and they're going to be heading they don't need to go to the reception they're going to be heading to your diagnosis room so as you can see i've already got 67 percent diagnosis from uh that that person, I'm not going to try and say the name, but they've already got it. And you can see that's because I've got my two diagnosis skills in there, level three. So if I just go over to the stats, you can see their diagnosis skills is 120%. So for the first time, really, in my opinion, we actually need diagnosis skills. And uh, it, it, it's something which is going to be really important in this DLC. And I'm really happy about it because it's just another mechanic that you need to think of. The problem being, though, is that if you spend too much time bringing patients in, is that this is going to happen to your hospital. If you do not have enough diagnosis rooms, then you're, you're just going to have massive queues like this. You actually don't need that many GP officers, um, what I've found, because mainly what's going to happen is that if you have good enough um, staff picking patients up, What's going to happen is that they're going to go straight to the first diagnosis room and then they're going to be off to treatment. So you can see most of these people that are coming in are already in the 60s. Um, yeah, 69. So they've now been diagnosed. So 60, um, yeah, 88. So they're going to be okay to go to treatment. So you can see they're going to the fracture ward. As you can see, guys, I'm still not building uh, surgeries. Let's just get these out of the way. Um, so yeah, so, so you need to be careful, you need to be careful because you're just going to overload your hospital. So I really recommend uh, making sure that you're hit, you know, you've built up your hospital, that you've got the, you know, the relevant rooms in place, you've got enough diagnosis rooms, like, you need to focus on diagnosis rooms. Like, I, I here have not got enough. I've got two psychiatries and a ward, a fairly big ward as well, six beds. Um, I would definitely recommend, especially in this first level, is getting uh, at least two wards, um, probably um, 
another psychiatry so you've got three and as you can see pretty much no queues in my GP office I've got two rooms but I don't think you need two rooms you can probably get away with just the one now you can always see when you've got new emergencies because you can see the pop-ups there so as you can see yeah off we go let's assign the Panda Mobile to that so we can pick up as many people as possible what's gonna happen is we got a nurse coming to here and off you go so you can see that different staff drive different vehicles so if I drop them oh, do you want I need to let me just dispatch big healer uh, and dispatch Colin so you can see big healer we've got a doctor going into the Colin and we'll see who comes back for the big healer but yeah, you've got different staff members, so you need a mixture of both doctors and nurses. Uh, you remember when I dropped the nurses that they couldn't uh, drive the big healer, so this one's going to be a doctor. Yeah, that's not the compliant column, but yeah, so you can see. There we go. Oh, that's a new illness. Uh, but yeah, you can see a, a doctor there, whereas here we've got a doctor. Um, and over here we could have nurses in but as you can see it starts to get messy in these hospitals if you're just solely focusing on the emergency response and not growing your hospital appropriately so yeah i definitely definitely keep an eye on that um, it could be really tempting just to jump straight into it but just take my advice take it slowly and you will be smashing it in no time. So you can see I've kind of moved around a bit. So you can see I've collected a lot of patients, so we're fine. Um, ooh, bit of a death rate. 100% uh, death rate there. Not great. Um, failure rate is pretty, uh, it's pretty okay ish. And your emergency reputation is going to depend on uh, all of the above, right? How many people you're curing. And you can see it's not linked to your actual reputation. So, look at that corridor. This is exactly what I mean. Just be careful of how many patients you bring in. But it does mean that you can control how busy your hospital is doing by you know, only bringing in a handful of patients as and when you think you need it. And it's pretty quick as well. If you do one trip, you just go, yeah, select, go. Off you go. You'll be... Um, uh, you'll have a hospital full of patients. If you want to leave it and wait a bit, then you can. And you can just have smaller queues. Completely up to you guys. So that's it for this uh, level. As I said, only three, um, three new vehicles. We've got three more new vehicles to come. Uh, and we're going to explore them in the, in the next levels of the DLC. And uh, we will kind of do an overall video, which is just going to summarize all the all six ambulances oh, i can't wait some of them oh, i can't wait to show them to you some of them look so so fun we've got a, a hot air balloon uh which is just gonna like the speed is absolutely fantastic but the capacity isn't and and yeah we we got some good good um uh, vehicles one job one more thing is when you're asked to build more ambulance stations it's not always quite clear um just like how you click on these plots if you click on these buildings here which have got the the kind of the lot the car park here you click on those and it'll ask you to build just like you would a plot so those are the ambulance stations it kind of caught me by surprise straight away and um, maybe i didn't read something but just in case you guys get stuck so thank you very much for watching um, do make sure you subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be putting out more and more uh, content for the Speed Recovery DLC and I cannot wait to show it to you guys. Keep liking the videos, show this DLC some support and comment down below. How much are you loving this new mechanic? What are your top tips for this new mechanic? And what's been your favourite vehicle so far? Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next episode. Bye for now. Thank you.